So for the Chinese mini excavator, this one is a Mach Pro MP15. We're going to be adding a hydraulic thumb. So stay tuned for the unboxing and the installation. So you can see what it comes with and it depends on what type of mini excavator you have if you have the one with the three holes then you want to make sure that yours comes with this L bracket and that's how you actually mount it to the holes and if not you have the other type that just comes with just the jaw itself and it mounts through those and it also has the pivot bracket down there so in my case, I have the one with the three holes, and that's gonna mount the bracket. And then you're gonna get your hydraulic cylinder, which is on the back here. So it comes with the cylinder the two hydraulic hoses so that's what you get in the package Like I said, that's everything it comes with. Your bracket and your two hydraulic holes. So just look at what type you have and that would determine which um, hydraulic jaws or hydraulic thumbs you would need. So stay tuned for the installation. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the existing thumb and some cases they are bolted they have a bolt nothing bolt on both sides in this case we have quick the next quick disconnect ends which just pull out and that's how you adjust your thumb if you was going to use it manually you would just put it in the pin that goes that will go here according to how you want it adjusted. So we're gonna be removing that. I'm gonna remove this one. Let's see if we can tap it out with a rubber mallet. If we not, we'll get a So that's the first part, just getting everything removed. One thing I did notice on this mini excavator, on this brand, this would not be considered the one with the three holes in it because it has a bolt here and here and the quick disconnect pin, which is here. So we're gonna remove this bracket and then the, excav the thumb would mount to this one here this pin here and the pin down here so in that case we will not be needing this bracket because if you can see it does not fit it's actually too thick to fit in there so this is not considered the one with the three holes here so the ones with the three holes is actually welded so make sure you check your mini x to make sure that's the one you need 
in our case it was a discount of 15 percent off so that means this bracket here cost me about ten dollars and no need to send everything back because you're going to get the same thumb without the bracket so let's get that removed and then we'll start mounting This is the bracket that actually you will remove from here. And now your mounting points are here and here. And on this one, you want to make sure your hoses are pointing toward away from the machine. And that way your hole is going to be routed this way. This does spin, so you don't want it mounted here to go here. So you want to make sure it's mounted here. off from tightening these up now so next we're gonna take the caps off of these and we'll remove this and the same on the other side so and I think these are if you can see it says M14 and that's the size 3 at these are so that'll go from here to here both are M14, so let's get that removed. And this thread size is a M14, and this thread size is a M16, so you're gonna need an adapter, and hopefully yours come with the adapter like this and it's gonna have M16 to M14. Unfortunately, this is a 1616, and it didn't come with adapters, but luckily, for right now, I was able to find my adapters for this one, and this is a M16 thread, and I'm gonna reduce it down to a M14. So it'll go in like this and then this one will basically thread into here. So that's the way mine will be set up. But you can get, like I said, the adapter that takes the place of this. It's an M16, M14 adapter. So that's what you're looking for. So make sure you got this or you're gonna need some kind of reducer to go down from one size to the size of the hose. So i get this all tightened up. So here is the difference between the one with the three holes and the one that mounts top and bottom. So this one would be the incorrect one because you can see that the bracket here will not fit in between here so that you will get everything lined up directly center. If you can see that the, the thumb is off to one side because 
like I said, this doesn't mount up in between here. So maybe the next one, which I am gonna order, is wider to go on the outside or on the inside. And you can see the space, I would have to put spacers in on that boat. So evidently this is the difference between the one that comes with that bracket that has the three holes, which doesn't come off. So I will be reordering the correct one. So, and making sure I got the right adapters for this. So don't make that mistake. If yours has the three holes that come off, you want to order the regular bracket without the L bracket included. And we'll see what that one looks like. So stay tuned until we get it ordered. One good part about it, it does work so you can test your hydraulic lines. So that tells me everything works as far as the hydraulic pump and everything. So just got to get the new one in and get it put on. So we'll take this off and don't make that mistake. So the one you want, the hydraulic cylinder is going to have a single pole mount here and it'll go in between now. So it'll be a single instead of a double. So make sure you check with yours to see which one you need. And welcome to part two of installing the hydraulic thumb on your Chinese excavator or your mini excavator. And this one is a Mach Pro MP15. Now the problem we had the first time we ordered the one when it says if you got the three holes, I go to this side says if you got three holes then you need to order a certain one but the way this one is made this bracket actually comes off which means you will have the two holes you will have the hole here and then you will have the mounting hole at the bottom so we ordered the next one and this is what we got in the box so let me get it mounted correct kit for this machine mount it same way pack the same way and you're gonna get the same kit but the difference I'll show you gonna get your two hydraulic lines and these are M14 And the difference is on your hydraulic cylinder, you're gonna get the one um, bracket here. So this will be mounted in the center. So that's the one you want when your bracket is removable. That way you don't need the L bracket that comes with it to mount this. So the way it comes is just a solid piece without the L bracket so you get everything minus the L bracket so that's what it looks like and the other part is on your M14 adapters or your M14 they do not, depending on who you order it from, do not come with the M16 adapter, which mounts to the machine here. So your adapter that you need for here, you need an M14 to an M16 adapter to go here. What I used last time was the adapters to adjust to that, 
So since I ordered the machine, I did order the adapters and I'll show you those. So for your lines, what I used last time was your regular adapter, which is here. And basically it goes from a 14 to a 16. It's just a reducer. And what you need is your regular M14-16 adapter. And that will mount here into that line and reduce it down to your M14. So you can get these or you can use just a set of reducers. Both work fine. So let's get the thumb taken off. There are wings in here, so let me bring out the pipe to make sure it does seal. One thing you want to make sure you do is check your hydraulic fluid once you get through operating it. So you want to turn it on and let it run and operate. You want to make sure it runs and operates. lines up good you can see it lands on both teeth it moves pretty good so like I said next thing you want to do is check your hydraulic fluid check for leaks and then we'll go ahead and tighten up these bolts so once you get it operating and we're going to change that grease fitting to a regular grease fitting so as you can see we've done the rest so that's how you install your hydraulic thumb on your Chinese excavator. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification for upcoming videos. We'll talk to you later.